Hey guys, this is Katie. What? This is Katie. It is. It is. <laughs> it is Katie. It is, right? Whoa. <laughs> hey guys, it's Katie and I'm here with my husband, Chris. Hi. And you guys know I've made stuff mini in the past, little donuts, little pies. But today, Chris has challenged me to make something extra special. I've been dreaming of tiny, tiny cheeseburgers. And there's a specific kind that you would like. Yes, it needs to be tiny double doubles from In-N-Out. I've had a regular cheeseburger from In-N-Out, but I've never had the double double, mm -hmm. which is what you always get. So I feel like we should go there Wait. and order double double. Woo! This is gonna be a bunch of fun. Ah, we almost died. I don't know if you should be driving. All right. We're getting in line. Can I have two double doubles? Two Diet Cokes. Thank, Thank you. you. I never drank Diet Coke. I never drank soda. When you get married, if somebody else, if the other person has a habit, that will become your habit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yes. Look at that. Making a mini version of this. It's a lot of mini layers. Oh, I'm so excited. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's great. I think this is American cheese. And there's sauce. It tastes very like Thousand Island. It tastes really healthy. God, it feels like we went on a date. That was delicious. Yes. Now it's time to see if I can make that very small. What about if you could hold it like that? That would be good. But if I can hold it, if I can just help. You're not going to hold it like that. <laughs> we'll find out. I want to take a nap. I am now ready to make what I think is the most important part of the mini burger, the buns. I don't really think I can cut corners with this. Like I thought about maybe pizza dough. I thought about could I cut out it from already baked buns? No. So we're going to do it from scratch. First thing we need is some lukewarm water, active dry yeast, a little bit of sugar, mix that together. So I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes until it's doubled in size. It basically looks like a science experiment. So now we're gonna grab three and a half cups of flour, add some salt, mix that together really quickly, and then we'll add some room temp butter, one egg. Last but not least, we'll add our yeast concoction. Once it starts to become a shaggy dough, I like to put it out on my counter and then bring it together with my hands. And this is where it gets messy. It's so fun to see the transformation of the dough because at first it's so dry and shaggy, but then as the fats are incorporated, it starts to just transform to this beautiful, soft, smooth dough. He's looking like a beautiful baby. Baby buns. I'm gonna stop slapping the dough, sorry. This guy will put in a bowl that's been greased and cover with a towel. We're gonna leave this for about an hour until it doubles in size. It might take a little bit longer. My house is cold right now. We're just gonna do it by sight. Cause I guess, you know, that's the best way. Today is all about feelings. Look at it. I don't know why, but this is reminding me of Ghostbusters and like the Marshmallow Man. It just got so big. Next, I'll grease the surface a little bit and we'll just press it down and we'll just start cutting out our little burger buns. Ooh, just look at that guy. He is so cute. Add this to a pan with some parchment on it. I am in love. I think when I'm making things mini, I feel like I'm making a lot of friends. So we'll just repeat this with our remaining dough. Now we're gonna brush them with melted butter. This is gonna just give them more flavor and also help them get that nice golden brown look. The buns are buttered, they are done. So now we're gonna go put these in the oven at 400 degrees for about seven to 10 minutes. I don't want them to burn, but I want them to be brown. Wish me luck, let's go put them in. out of the oven. They look pretty great. I'm gonna brush with a little bit more butter while they're still hot, just to give it a little bit more glisten, a little bit more shine and more flavor. It's like a uh, angelic cloud of buns. Ah, I love them so much. I love them so much. Like this little dude, he's just, he's my best friend. They look great. Do they taste great? That's what we gotta find out. Let's move on to our next step. We're gonna work on our meat patties. So I've got 80-20 beef here. Put it on some parchment. Put some parchment over that, ladies and gentlemen, and we're gonna roll it out. But kind of like a large patty. So this looks good. Let's, ooh, meat. Lots of meat. 
gross. So now that our meat is prepared, I'm gonna cut out just a bunch of meat patties. Not great looking, so I'm gonna roll them into a ball. That seems to be about the right size. I've never done this before, so who knows what the right size is, but that seems like a perfect little ball of meat. So next, I'm just gonna keep cutting out meat patties, rolling them into balls, and setting them on our sheet pan. All our little meat babies are done and they are weirdly cute and gross at the same time. We're gonna cook these up in a little bit, but let's move on to our next steps and we'll put this in the fridge. Okay, it is time to make the special in and out sauce, which I think is pretty close to like a Thousand Island dressing. So we're gonna combine some mayo, some ketchup to that, relish, a little bit of sugar, and white distilled vinegar. Well, the color is looking pretty close. Now it's time to prep little itty bitty toppings for our burgers. So for our onions, I'm gonna use shallots, which are actually so flavorful and really a little bit sweeter. For the cheese, I went to the deli counter and I got some American cheese slices. So the burger patties were about two centimeters. I'm gonna cut the cheese about as big. Next, we're gonna cut tomatoes. The smallest tomatoes I could find are cherry tomatoes, which are delicious. I think they could upgrade the taste. Last thing I'll do is chop up some iceberg lettuce, just like I did the cheese to make squares. So to cook our burgers, we're gonna heat up some butter. The best way to do it is to cook them on some butter. The next part, I'm gonna have to move very quickly. I'm gonna put the burgers on top, add some foil, and use this cast iron pan to help smash them down and stop them from curling. This is an experiment. I've never done this, so if it doesn't work, it's okay. I've got more patties. Okay. Oh, look at our little baby patties. All right, we're gonna flip all our pat. Oh, oh, I flip one, I unflip the other. Basically, I only need two good ones. Squeeze them down. Do these look proportionate to the burger? Yeah, okay, cool. So now we add our little cheesies on top. We're gonna put a lid on so the moisture can and the heat can help that cheese melt. It's been about 30 seconds, so let's check them. Oh, they're so cute. I need to calm down and get them off without wrecking them. Oh, nope. I'm gonna finish the rest of these off and then we are going to assemble. I'm so excited. All right, it is the moment of truth. It's the part of every time I make something mini that I dread just a little bit, but also love. I've already cut the little buns and they actually turned out perfect. They're a little hard on the outside, but nice and soft on the inside. Let's do this. Now the double-double starts with some sauce. Then it goes tomato, then lettuce, patty, oh God, then onion, patty. This is so tall. It's a lot of mini layers. And then, the top. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna not, I'm gonna make a, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a single. So I may not have achieved a perfect double double, but I definitely made a cute little cheeseburger. And at the end of the day, didn't Chris just want mini cheeseburgers? So I'm gonna make a bunch of single burgers and we'll see if he's cool with that. It's not gonna be what you expected. What? Here you go. Open your eyes. Whoa, these look amazing. They're not double double. Oh, they're single. They're ready to mingle. They're ready to mingle. <laughs> I can guess why, maybe. It was too tall. It was too tall. It was what I feared from the beginning, but it was just like too much. They're actually smaller than I thought you were gonna make. Like I said in the car, I wanna fit it on one finger. It basically sits on one finger. What's the most important thing though is does it taste like just an in and out burger? It actually just tastes like I took one bite of the burger we had this morning. I'm not to like toot my own horn, but it really does. Take a full size burger and divide it into eight. <laughs> then you've got eight tiny ones and they're really great. <laughs> <gasps> All right, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what other things you want us to make mini or Chris is just gonna keep requesting it. Yeah. And he's a madman. I am crazy. <laughs>